Okay, we are almost to the fun part, I promise. These four, five, six other videos, they're kind of precursors to what you need to know before you get started, but we are almost there. So the next step is you need to buy a domain name. Now, this domain name is going to kind of be like the, the domain name for your business. It doesn't have to be anything crazy if you don't want. Mine is just kind of a made up name. It's not public facing, nobody really sees it, but you're going to use it to access your web control panel. So first off, go ahead and click on the link down in the description below, and it's gonna take you to namecheap.com. This is where you're going to find your domain name. Typically domain names through Namecheap are like eight to 10 bucks per year. So it's really cheap, but you can choose whatever you want. You could do like, for example, if your name is John Smith, you could do johnsmithhosting.com or I, I don't know, whatever you want. You don't even have to have hosting in the name. Just pick whatever domain name you want. Um, I've already got my domain name. So if I go to brycejmatheson.com, it's going to say, hey, this domain name is probably already taken, or it should. Yep, so it says taken right there. So if we, I don't know, let's search for johnsmithhosting.com. johnsmithhosting.com is available, and it's only $8.88 per year. Go ahead and grab the, um, the domain name, whatever one you want. Uh, Namecheap even has a domain name generator if you can't think of anything, so that might be worth a shot. The other question that I get is when you have clients, clients are also going to need a domain name before you can host for them. And a lot of people ask, they say, should I buy their domain or should they buy their domain? And the answer is it kind of just depends. Personally, I typically let them buy their domains. The reason for that is because if for some reason they get upset with you and they hate you and they want to move from your hosting to different hosting, they have that option. They own the name and so they control everything. So if they wanted to take their name servers and their DNS and where it's currently pointed at you, they could point it over to somebody entirely different and then they have control. I don't know that too many clients, like I've never had a client get upset with me and they need to do that, but it's just kind of nice because they own the domain name, so why not let them manage it and pay for it and do all that kind of stuff. Now on the flip side, if you have a client who is completely illiterate with technology, has no idea what a domain name is, then you may just wanna buy the domain name for them, store it on your account, and then just charge them above and beyond what it costs every month. So if their domain name, for example, costs $9 a year, you could actually charge them $5 a month, and then yeah, you have to pay the annual fee to re-up their domain name, but you're also making money each and every month. So it totally depends, 100% up to you. Like I said, I've kind of done both. I have some domain names for the websites that I host, but there's also others that I don't own at all. So I guess the short and sweet answer is, it doesn't matter, do whichever you prefer. But before we can continue, you do need to purchase a domain name for yourself. So go ahead and grab that and we'll catch you in the next video.